Now, we've all bought TVs in the past, and most of them are wall-mounted now, and with Wi-Fi, we don't have to have all the gubbins that go with it. So long ago, we used to have to have a good sideboard or a small chest or a TV unit, but what we actually miss out now is the area around the TV that can sometimes be really useful for all your knickknacks, etc. So I was inspired um, by Mondrian, who's an artist who created lots of straight lines and colour blocking. And I actually needed something in my living room that would give me an area of a little kind of library, display area, as well as having a TV area. And behind me, I'll show you just how I went about that. It's simply made from MDF, equally measured out to suit my purposes, and with some mirror and some of my background wallpaper and a good TV bracket, I think I've got something that makes most of the area. So you'll see, very, very simply, all the gubbins are in behind the TV there on a good bracket. And the framework is simply MDF, painted out in grey. And I've mirrored the side there so it reflects my wallpaper. So from this angle, it kind of disappears. So you see from the bottom up, I've got some storage areas, a couple of shelves. The TV is on a bracket, which means it can slide in or out, or we'll go back towards a framed area. So even with nothing on it, you'll see the TV is kind of framed. So top to bottom is simply MDF shelves with a slightly thicker shelf in the middle. And all I've done is taken the MDF and put a facing on it and painted it grey. And I've cleverly used some excess flooring, which was Carndine, and used it on the top shelf there, so it all ties in. And the two display shelves I've mirrored and always allow like five millimetres back from the edge to avoid any smashing or anything that could chip. So we're all, what I've got here is storage, storage and TV area. And what I'm going to do is dress it now and show you how just with some MDF and some paint and some mirror, you can forgo something as much as I love my new sideboard. I do love it. I wanted something light and airy. So I'm going to dress this now and let you see how good it looks as a sort of library area. Here we go. First and foremost, I had these old storage baskets, which I've had for absolutely ages. And I'd screwed some MDF onto the bottom and painted it out and put these little casters on. So these have then very easily become two little wee little storage things. So I can put blankets, newspapers, if someone comes to the door and things are a little bit messy around the house, pop them in the baskets. But the TV there, you'll see, is now beginning to balance because we've got the storage area at the bottom. Then, because I wanted to make it look like a library area, I've got some of my favourite books. And I'll put them here. And I could put them on the side, but I think when they're lovely, looking books. I want to see the titles that I can read them easily. So I'll pop them on the side. So I've got my reference books there. I've had most of these books for years. And that's beginning to look nice and usable but not too cluttered. Then, as you know, I do love my knickknacks. So I've got some bits and pieces, just some picture frames. Fornacetti candle from our lovely friend, David, which I only burn on special occasions. Which I love the smell. And those can start to fill the shelves up and then introduce some of the colors from around the room. 
There's some little pots. Again, these are just off the high street. One of the shops that were open. Greys and teal blues. That one sits perfectly under there. So we begin to get a nice little collection of things. Then I've also got things that mean lots to me. Um, this is a lovely little book that I got up north. This is a little book I got from Zanzibar. This is a little pot which is a gift from the Forbidden City in Beijing, which I've always wanted to go. And Angkor Wat, one of my favourite areas and one of the seven wonders of the world. Amazing. And that is creating another nice little collection. And it's just about little groups of things that pull everything together. The grey vase, simplified, it's a little glass cloche. Um, I've got keys a go go, so little things like this, little glass boxes to keep keys in. Also decorative but functional. A beautiful little box from Udaipur. Also a nice little thing to keep. And it's just about placing them and it would give me so much joy when I look at them and it reminds me of all the places I've been. And then this was a gift. This is an amazing Ian McQuinney. Sorry, I had to check there. But it's a beautiful piece of pottery from my lovely friend Lorraine Poon in Inverness. And it's a stunning piece. I really want to collect more of this. Hint, hint, everybody. <laughs> I love this. And it's such a talking point and eye-catching. A beautiful little hand-painted box, again, from India. This was from Cochin. And a little faux cigarette box in a sort of lacquered effect. And that, again, with... basket or something there just to bring the changes, might sit some flowers in, could even be nice down there. You don't have to overdo it. If you want to bring in these pops of colour in from the room, I've got these lovely agate um, sort of resin bookends, which again will just give a little pop of colour in there. Lots of little interesting things that you can just have a little look at. And finishing touch, just to finish off the corner, to bring in all the colours and a little bit of the geometrics. And there we have it. So, from some MDF and some paint, some leftover flooring and some carefully measured mirror, we have a great little library stroke TV area. which just kind of blends into the wall with the mirror. It's a great use of space and sometimes TV units can be quite cumbersome and quite dated. So this way you're creating something that looks the part, looks designed, looks considered. So have a look at little areas and where you could be clever to build some display areas that include storage that works perfectly for you.